As they left Ash Wednesday Mass, many parishioners at St. Isaac Jogues in the Philadelphia Archdiocese were disappointed and angry. They had just been told that their priest, Father Stephen Harris, was placed on leave pending a sex abuse investigation. It's not right, and I think that these holy men can do these outrageous things. Father Harris was one of 24 priests suspended nearly a month after a scathing grand jury report that details graphic allegations of child sex abuse by clergy and accuses top church officials like Monsignor William Lynn of shielding abusive priests. Lynn is now the first senior U.S. church official ever to face criminal charges for allegedly covering up abuse. I think that we need to pray for priests. The, it's very sad that the enemy comes into the church. The report recommended the church review 37 previously closed cases of priests suspected of abuse or inappropriate behavior with minors. The archdiocese suspended three priests almost immediately, then yesterday announced 21 more suspensions pending further review. Today, the cardinal apologized. I personally renew my deep sorrow to the victims of sexual abuse in the community of the church who suffer as a result of this great evil and crime. Some parishioners are willing to give the accused a chance. Don't rush to judgment. You don't know what the charges are. Don't rush to judgment. The clergy suspensions raise even more questions. Mainly, did these priests interact with children? And if so, were those interactions appropriate? Katie. Elaine Quijano in Philadelphia. Thank you, Elaine.